Hello guys, happy Thursday, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're getting our styling hats on again, once again, and I asked you guys which video you wanted to see today, and most of you voted for me restyling old pieces that I have in my wardrobe. We all have those pieces in our wardrobe that we look at every day but we never actually wear. I know that I have a handful of them, especially items that I've had since I was like a teenager that I don't want to get rid of, and I still have them, but yeah, I don't actually wear them so today's video is all about inspiring you to get those old pieces out that you might not have worn before and see how you can style them have a play around with them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick five items and we're going to style them up and create new looks for them so yes very excited we're going to do this in a bit of a vloggy style so i hope you guys like that so grab a cup of tea sit back relax and let's do some fashion styling and get our fashion groove back on <laughs> Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but basically this is essentially my current wardrobe. The top bit is my boyfriend's mics, and then the bottom bit is mine. I'm going to put you guys down. So yes, this is basically a lot of my jackets and blouses and t-shirts and stuff like that. We do also have a spare bedroom, and that bedroom has got a bed in, and it's got two other rails of clothing in. So uh, I'm just going to grab pieces from both both rooms but I haven't actually decided what I want to style yet so this is like completely you know in in real time I'm picking exactly what I want right now We've done a little bit of digging and I've come away and I've found the five pieces that I'm going to style. So here they all are. Here they are. Very exciting. Oh, I'm dropping some of them. Most of these are actually things I've thrifted, which I just haven't really found a way to style. So I think this is going to be a really good opportunity for me to kind of like figure that out a little bit. Up first is this little cardigan. Now I bought this, um maybe about like a year ago now i think it was like last spring i bought it from uniqlo in manchester and it's a size small and i bought it just because i love the green i thought the green was really nice and it's kind of like mesh almost but yes sadly i've never worn this i've like never worn it ever in my life so i'm interested to see how i style it this is going to be a challenge for me just because i don't know really where to begin the cardigans are just not very flattering on me i don't feel my best when i wear a cardigan I've never worn it and you know that because I've still got the little size small sticky label on so let's see what i can do with this Okay guys, I will not lie, this one was very hard. I've just spent about 40 minutes putting different outfits on. And in the end, I was just like, do you know what? We've just got to keep it simple. I tried multiple green dresses and I just thought a dress and a cardigan not working. I really wish I had like a green skirt of some sort, but I don't own that. So I've gone for what I do have in my wardrobe. So starting off, I have this green racerback top, which is originally from Topshop. I've had it for a couple of years just because I wanted to add like a pop of color into my everyday wardrobe. And this green is a really nice green. It's like a like a dark green i guess then i've paired it with my and other stories jeans of course love these great wash and i think the green and the dark denim works really well together then we're adding in the cardigan of course this outfit is giving me vibes of like being in new york i've never been to new york so i don't really know but springtime in new york shopping going into like a coffee shop walking around in like a little cute put together outfit it's making me feel very young, like a very, um, I don't know, 17 year old Jess who loves fashion and is just getting dressed up for the sake of it. Then I've added this bag and I've kept it quite high because I quite like the 
how high it is. It's easy, accessible when I'm shopping in not my shops. I just really like this. I think the green vest and the little green cardigan are just simple, but they work well together. And I will genuinely wear this out. Like, I feel like this is more of a me outfit. I do also have some little heel boots on, and I'm actually really enjoying like little heel boots in the day rather than just at night time lately. I don't know, something about it that makes you feel a bit more put together, more organized and ready to take on my day, I guess. Okay, next up, something else I've never worn is this thrifted jumper. Now, I do genuinely love this. I don't know why I've not worn it. I think it is just like a bit of an awkward shape, like the neckline is not really a v-neck, but then it's not really like a one shoulder. It's kind of just like a loop. So it's a bit it's a bit unflattering in places, but I do love the colour of it and I do love the kind of like vintage take on it. It's also not really cropped, but not really like a nice long length. Like it's a bit awkward in the middle, I guess. This whole jumper is a little bit awkward, I won't lie. So this has been in my wardrobe for a couple of months and I've never worn it. I think I got it for like three pounds in the charity shop. So we're going to style this up and see what I can do with it and actually make an outfit that I will wear outside. Okay, look number two. And guys, I am loving this already. Okay, so obviously we have the jumper to start off with. And one of my main issues with this jumper was the neckline. But I just find that by putting something underneath, it instantly helps it out. And this little pop of white, I think, is the perfect balance between the colours in the jumper and yeah the top at the top with this color i just wasn't feeling like dark denim so i pulled out these azara light wash jeans these are like a pair of mom jeans i've had these jeans for so many years and i actually haven't worn them in quite a while so i thought i'd pull them out see if they still fit me and luckily they do okay and then i'm adding my doc martens because i want to keep it quite casual like i want to wanted to make an outfit that i would wear every day i do have a jacket which i might put on i just grabbed this black oversized blazer i don't know i just had i don't know i just had a feeling that it might work it might not work i mean just to make it a bit more of like an outfit like a full outfit i just thought the black blazer Ooh. Hey, I'm liking this guys and then I'm gonna add my little vintage bag which I love I just like the shape of this one and yeah this is the outfit how fab is this yeah this is definitely giving me again shopping vibes everything revolves around shopping let's be real um but this is giving me like I don't know it's cool it's cool I'm liking it I'm actually going on a trip to Lisbon soon so I feel like this could be a Lisbon outfit Depending on the weather, I don't actually know the weather that much, but this is so cool. I'm so happy that I've come up with this look. I think the colours all work together. It's a little bit unique with the jumper, and I'm actually so happy that I've been able to style it because there was one point when I was going to get rid of it, but now definitely keeping it in my wardrobe. Okay, the third item is this little blue waistcoat. Now, I genuinely do like this. I really do, and I wish I would wear it out more. I think I just think sometimes it's a little bit too out there and sometimes i want to be in the background not out there but like it's got a very vintage feel to it it's definitely a love or hate piece and the purple is interesting behind although when i do put it on you can't see the purple but i think just my eyes seeing the purple when i'm looking in my wardrobe i'm always like mm, i don't know about that i don't know how i'll wear it I think for me, the first place my mind goes with this is like night out attire. Like you could definitely wear it with some like black trousers, some heeled boots, like a big hoop. Definitely very like Bella Hadid inspired, kind of like almost like hippie vibes. So yeah, let's see what we can do with this. Okay, okay, okay. We have the waistcoat, guys. Don't know what's happening today, but the stars are aligning, obsessed. So I obviously just thought suit in my mind. I was like waistcoat, suit. So I paired it with this suit that I've got from h and I bought this about a year ago, I think. And honestly, it's came in handy on so many occasions. You can wear the pants on their own or the blazer on its own. I thought maybe at first I would wear a pair of black pants, but actually I think the beige just works really well. It like breaks up the blue. This waistcoat is so good fitting. Like it fits me so well. And I kind of like leaving the little button open at the bottom. I think it's really cute. Adds a little bit of, I don't know 
texture so yes this is kind of the level one of the outfit and now we're going to add a few little extra bits so up first we're going to add the blazer of course this is the matching blazer for the trousers and yeah we definitely need that extra layer here in the uk so the blazer is a must that looks so cool i think and then a blazer outfit would not be complete without these massive boots from asos so we're gonna add these they are brown but i do think it works i think the color combination is heading in the right direction so i'm happy with that so that is my finished look i don't have a bag with this one just because i would probably go for like a beige bag but i don't actually own one but i feel like super cool without a bag i mean if i didn't carry around a lot of stuff with me. I probably would go out without a bag. But yes, this is the final look. What do we think? Do we like? I think it's super cool. Like I feel like super quirky. I would definitely wear this out to like, I don't know, like some drinks, you know, it's a little bit different. You're not gonna see everyone in this type of waistcoat or this outfit, in fact. And that's why I like it. Cause it's quirky, it's me, and they're the combinations that we definitely want. Next up is item number four, and it's got to be this adorable little cardigan. Guys, I love this, and I will never get rid of it because it is so beautiful. But, like I said earlier on, cardigans for me are just not really that that flattering. and They're not really my vibe. This one is a little bit small. Like, it's a bit of a, like, you have to, like, pull it over. That makes sense? Like, it doesn't, like, fully wrap. It's just, like... A bit tight but it's just so pretty and also to be fair to me i was saving this for spring because i just thought when it's warmer i can get these out and you know just wear it on its own with some jeans it's a bit easier to style but in the winter it's very hard to style because i don't really want to put a jacket over it let's give it a go and see what i can come up with with this beautiful little cardigan on to the next outfit. This is all about the cardigan, of course. And again, I tried on many different things, but in the end, I just think keeping it simple is the best approach, but you can keep it simple in a fun way. I put on this little black midi skirt, which I recently picked up from Next. It was in the Next sale. I think it was like five pounds. And honestly, I never realized I was missing a black midi skirt in my wardrobe until now comes in handy for so many outfits so if you don't have one this is your reminder to go and pick one up you can definitely get a lot of them second hand so have a browse on vintage depop or in your charity shop and then on top of the black skirt i've added this little cute boob tube top i just thought the frills in it were quite flattering even though it's plain black the frills kind of tie into the girly elements of the cardigan which i think is a nice little combination and then of course i've added the cardigan which is the the main element of this whole look and i think just by keeping everything else simple the cardigan just does the work which is what we wanted and we wanted to have lots of compliments on the cardigan and i think by taking this approach we definitely will okay and then i've decided to add my yellow beret i never wear this and i don't know why i just never really reach for it it is quite big on my head i do have a few others which are a little bit smaller but we can make it work. I just thought the pop of yellow with the little flowers on the cardigan is quite a cute little combination and very appropriate for spring, which is where I'll definitely be wearing this outfit. To finish the look, we're adding my LL Bean little tote bag. Again, the green, the yellow, and the little gray floral cardigan. I think them three are a perfect combination. But this bag is great for like shopping, getting some groceries. So I might potentially wear this to get some groceries, even though it's a little bit, a little bit dressy. <laughs> but yeah, I think this combination works really well. And um, it feels super cute. And I'm actually really pleased that I've been able to style this cardigan. And even putting it up at the top, which I actually think is super cute, just to have that little button holding everything together. And then, yeah, it looks like a little black dress. Okay, and last but not least, I'm gonna style this blue oversized dad shirt. I did have a stage where I would always wear this. Again, like the cardigan, I think it was like in the warmer months, but I do feel like I should wear this more often because it is quite cool. And I think if I like buttoned it all up and like tucked it into some jeans, I could like wear it in the winter ignore the top underneath i mean i could style it with the top but i want to do something a little bit different i thrifted this a while ago i think i was going on a trip somewhere was i 
where was I going? Oh, that was it. I was going to Milan. I was going to Milan and I wanted like a shirt to throw over like little dresses and this came in really handy with like little mini dresses actually. Let's see how else I can style this and make it more appropriate for the UK English weather. So we've made it to the final outfit and yes it is very blue, my favourite type of outfit. So obviously we've got the blue shirt and I wanted to just style it in a bit more of like a, not a formal way but like a a put together way like sometimes when I wear shirts like this I tend to wear them open baggy and just like a bit oversized but I thought I would challenge myself to make a bit more form fitting so what I've done is I've obviously just buttoned up the shirt and then I've tied it a little bow at the back and um, I won't lie it is a bit too big on me this shirt so it is difficult to make it look good but I think I've done an okay job then I've paired it with these kind of baggy and um, dark wash denim jeans originally from asos and yeah these are just super comfortable and i think the light blue with the dark denim wash is a really good combination so i'm liking that okay now i have options so i either go for the cowboy boots or the birkenstocks i feel like i'm leaning more towards the cowboy boots i don't know i'm just in that vibe the birkenstocks i love um but i don't know i guess because i'm trying to make it a bit more you know fancy not fancy but like not as chill then the bacon socks are probably out because of that reason so let's go for the cowboy boots okay and now we have bag options so i have this really cool green bag which i got from tk maxx and it's got like this green fur on how cute is that i feel like the green and the blue is definitely a vibe but my only problem is <laughs> the buckle has actually broken on this. So it's not perfect. But we do also have, you guys know, my favourite red bag from M&S. Um, I use this all the time. And I do love the red pop of colour with the blue. I think it is quite cool. Um, but yeah, which one are we thinking? I mean, you guys will have to leave me a comment on which one you preferred. Because right now I'm going to pick one anyway. So... <laughs> I think for this outfit, I'm going to go for the green. I just feel like it's a bit more classy. It's not as like in your face. I do like the red, but I think the green is a winner. And yes, I really like this. I definitely should get some sunnies. Let me grab some. Okay, the only pair of sunglasses that I currently own. <laughs> Need to up level my sunglasses collection. But yes, this is my final outfit of this video. I actually wear it like this. I feel super comfortable in it i might generally take the scissors to the shirt so that it's not as like you know there's so much material and then i can wear it more in this way maybe make it a bit more of like a cropped shirt but for now this is what we're wearing i'm liking it i'm very very happy that we've come up with it this is definitely a very successful styling session okay so those were all my new styled outfits i hope you guys enjoyed this video I've loved it. It's really, really helped me more clarity on what's in my wardrobe. And I just love coming away from styling sessions and having more outfits in my outfit bank. I have a little folder on my iPhone that is like new outfits and I just save all my photos in there. And then I can come up with new things when I'm getting dressed in the morning and it makes life so much easier. I've actually started putting my outfit photos on Pinterest. So if you guys want to follow me on there, I will link it down below. Check me out. Give me a follow. And yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the outfit. Let me know in the comments which one is your favourite. I love you guys a lot and I will see you on Sunday for a very exciting video. Bye.